ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗಣೇಶಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಐ ಆಮ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ವಿತ್ ಅನ್ ಅದರ್ ವೀಡಿಯೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೀಡಿಯೋ ಇಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಮ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ವಾಚ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಟೆನ್ಷನ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗೋನೋ ರಿವೀಲ್ ಅ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಲ್ ಯೋರ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಎಸ್ ಟುಡೇಸ್ ವೀಡಿಯೋ ಇಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಆಸ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ದ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಮದರ್ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ದ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಮದರ್ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಹರ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಯು ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿ ವಂಡ್ರಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಲ ಟೆಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ನೌ ask the divine mother we all pray we pray every day we ask for forgiveness we ask for so many things i want this i want that that we are already doing so what is the special thing about asking the divine mother see today's video i want to tell you that you're not um, asking from your home you're not connecting to the divine from where you are we are connecting to the divine from a very very special special holy place and this is a sacred temple where we ask the divine mother patadarsiyama she is a grama devata very very smiling very kind very compassionate and she is the sister of madre veeran you must have watched a lot of my videos on veeran at least uh, more than four i think i would have shot on him and i also have immense feedback i have lots of written feedback some video feedbacks on veeran but uh, i will be failing on my part if i will not tell you about patadarsiyama like i mentioned she is a very satvik goddess who can be appeased very easily with sincere prayer and devotion every tuesdays and friday we perform a particular puja for her which is again a satvik uh, puja and if you want to add an element of tantra to this we have the lemon mala puja also but both the pujas are something which is very very dear to her you invoke her blessings and then ask her a question now uh, many of us would have gone to many astrologers and many of you may have come to me also i'm sure 90% of you are satisfied you have got your answers many a times when i myself get puzzled on what sh- what could be the probable answer for this i recommend my clients to consult the divine mother herself i tell them that let us go for a consultation to patadarsiyamma this case or this particular issue needs to be resolved through the divine only uh, instead of a medium like me so then my clients many of my clients have successfully consulted her by going for the, the one day puja either on a tuesday or a friday or a purnima that is like full moon day or a namavasya new moon day so they do get the puja done on any of these days seek their answers through the prayer so they put forth their prayer at her lotus feet and ask her through the priest of course because the priest interacts with the divine mother directly and uh, it is called arulvak in tamil where the priest talks to the divine mother and he puts forth our request on our behalf he tells the goddess the great great goddess patadarsiyama that you know this is the person who is sponsored for today's puja who has got the puja done today for you your seva and he or she in return is seeking your blessings and some answers some clarity some solution for their problem or even curiosity for that matter you basically uh, invoke her blessings to get her guidance on a particular matter or to get some light and in that case the divine mother responds to the priest by giving the right guidance or the answer now i would actually want to rephrase it the divine mother responds to the devotee who has sought the blessings through the priest and uh, it could be in the form of a solution or it could just be in the form of what is going to happen next or what has happened in the past some of my clients have had great revelations about their past life as well as the present life their early childhood for example what are the kind of mistakes they have done in their early childhood for which they are suffering now what have they done in the past that they are suffering today and what is the rectification process how is it that you know this whole uh, problem can be absolved the karma can be absolved how is the problem can be solved or resolved and then she gives the pariharams also it could be in the form of a puja or a simple at going to a particular temple or it could be something like feeding the cows it could be something like wearing a talisman and many a times between her and her brother veeran they do discuss and then uh, give solutions she would probably forward your file to veeran and many times when we ask veeran also it's possible to ask veeran as well 
Veeranman also forwards the file to her and say, anything to do with Chaturbhada, you come to me. If you want your business to improve, you go to her, she will help you. I mean, this is not a rule or anything, but this is my observation. This is what I've seen uh, for the past few years. This is how it has been. You know, the file gets passed on between them, their desks, I, I can say that. So, uh, this is a very beautiful temple uh, in Coimbatore, wherein uh, the interaction, the priest interacts with the goddess, he interacts with Viran, he brings forth the solution given by them to the devotees of my clients. So, it's an amazing experience. If you want, if you feel there's a dead end, or if there's a huge block, and you want to get rid of the block or for example if you feel everything is going fine I just still need the guidance of the Divine Mother so that you know if she's there and if she's telling me what to do maybe I'll get even better at, in a short span of time maybe I can channelize my energy or my resources better whatever it is or I can improve my health or my child's education whatever it is uh, any aspect of life she will get many many times whatever is written in the horoscope and what, whatever is happening uh, with your lives may not tally and we may not have answers why because prior to this we would have done the readings and things are the same it's tallying and everything is as per the planets when you do a lot of remedies um, sometimes the predictions change and you know when all of this happens and you wonder I'm, I'm supposed to be uh, having a good time why is it that my profits are not showing uh, in my balance sheet why is it that I'm not uh, still doing well in my life why is the quality of life still so bad and I'm supposed to enjoy a shukra dasha or a, a favorable time we may not have answers to this because beyond a point we also feel like okay this is what your planets are saying and we may guess well, this could be the reason that could be the reason no she will tell you you ask her ask Patadarsyama ask the Divine Mother she'll tell you exactly what went wrong and where you're going wrong what has to be done to set it right and uh, beautifully uh, over the past few months especially I can see miracles of how a, a person committed many sins in the childhood without his knowledge for which he's suffering health issues today like just like how what kind of sin he committed sim very similar to that he's suffering today each and every part of his body and then I've had another uh, experience where uh, you know a person was going through a lot of uh, Shatrubhada. I mean, that has become the norm nowadays. Uh, I think I speak more about that than anything else these days. Because people are always jealous, they are envious, they don't want other person to grow. So, when all this is happening, uh, you know, you may wonder, who is the one creating block? I have done no harm to this guy. Why is it that, you know, he's constantly, uh, you know, trying to create obstacles in my growth. He's, he's just tampering my growth and things like that. Is hampering my ambitions my aim and uh, even the day-to-day -day activities some people are a nuisance they don't let you work peacefully so what is it that is happening you may wonder we may not know the reason uh, we may not even know that there's another person behind it and it's just not the face you see so all of these revelations the Divine Mother has herself revealed and said no no this guy is just the outer face there is somebody else behind it and then even you um, you know introspect or you know try to dig deeper you realize that there's somebody else also involved and then she gives remedies what what can be done uh, very very uh, recently uh, she beautifully uh, explained how uh, we, we got a puja done for some uh, on one of my clients who has pets so uh, when she said she wanted to do some prayers for them I definitely said the the most compassionate goddess I know is Devi Patadarsyama so we should probably seek uh, you know her blessings for the pets and when we did that the divine mother revealed how much of negative energy these pets are actually absorbing because pets are very much filled with gratitude and the first thing they do is try to protect the master so they take it on them they take on the negative energy in the house the negative emotions what you're going through they just absorb it they're very very sensitive and in the process they're suffering because they don't know sadhana, they don't know the cleansing process, they don't know how to heal on their own with these kind of human emotions uh, bothering. They have their own healing mechanisms for their set of feelings and emotions, but not for a human being's, uh, you know, emotions which are clashing and which they are absorbing basically. So uh, beautifully, Patadarsyama guided how they can be blessed with uh, 
uh, Bhairava, Rahu and Ketu talismans because they are, Rahu and Ketu are kind of directly um, you know controlling the the animal especially the dogs and uh, if you look at the cats and those kind of pets where absorbing the negative energy and everything comes under their fold magnifying a problem before them is all Rahu Ketu and Bhairava is symbolic of having pets he has the uh, the dog and we have seen Dattatreya having four dogs and we have seen Madhuri Viran having dogs and Viran always says before me my dog will uh, go and sense the negativity and uh, thrash the negativity out see what is he trying to say he's trying to say that your pets are always in the forefront battling the negativity to protect you the master whether it's a simple common sense based stories we've seen and heard from childhood we've seen uh, dogs protecting their masters barking this happens even today right the same thing that Viran also said you know, this is what they're doing, but we're only looking at the outer aspect of it, but we don't know what they're going through in the emotional side. They're like babies, you know, pets are like babies, you need to really take care of them. And we didn't even realize this uh, beautiful uh, aspect or perspective, because we are so filled with our own problems, we didn't think about uh, animals or pets. So when, you know, she beautifully told, gave a solution on how we can heal them. And people who have pets are generally very sensitive about their pets and they really care about them and they really go that extra mile to give them that cushion uh, so you know uh, so this is how she revealed so i'm very uh, you know her revelations are not something that you and i can guess or use our uh, you know human brain and intelligence and say oh maybe this is what it is we cannot logically conclude basically all her revelations so far has been something uh, which is like oh i mean i have been awestruck each and every time she has revealed something so I just felt that, you know, why not make a video and, and reveal it to the world, the universe, that yeah, there is an energy who's ready to help you, who's ready to answer your questions. But yeah, you will have to have patience because not that every time she will answer all your questions. If it's best known, best for you to know, she will answer. Otherwise, she will many times smile and, you know, give you a clue as to why she's not telling. Another thing that happens with her is that, uh, you know, you ask her now and it's not like she'll immediately respond she takes her time to tell you and uh, it's not about taking her time basically she waits for us to have a time to know if it is the right time for us to know she will definitely reveal it this is my experience with uh, Devi Patadar Sema for me personally she has guided me she has warned me on how people create nuisance uh, you know who can who are well wishers and who are actually trying to help you without their knowledge they're actually causing more trouble so she did name a few people and say this person is going to cause trouble to you be careful and uh, at that point of time logically i could never think uh, you know this person would really create any problem because i know this person is a well wisher so uh, very very hard to believe so i mean when the priest called me and uh, said this is what mother is telling i was like what how is this possible this person is a well wisher and then he said i don't know this is what is uh, mother's dictum so this is what i'm telling you so then i said okay if she wants me to be careful let me you know exercise caution within the next two days i heard uh, somebody telling me that this person created nuisance which is actually kind of causing problem for me then i was like oh my god this mother warned me and uh, she's always keeping an eye on you and she's always watching you uh, trying to help you amazing so this is one thing second thing also like uh, many many uh, aspects many many blocks she removes when you seek her guidance uh, she may she paves way for your growth for your understanding for your evolution so i strongly urge you all to take an opportunity on one of these days whether it's a tuesday or a friday or a mamasya or pornima whatever you feel comfortable with one of these days please do seek a consultation you can call me for this i will definitely help you with that entire process i will i will be there for the process and i will let you know what is the guidance the divine mother is offering what is it that she has to tell you what action do you need to take many times she's being kind when we have clients doing pujas for something else she herself volunteers to tell you tell tell this boy to do this he will do better and things like that and excellent my clients have taken the clue taken the instructions followed and i'm sure with time they will see the results so with that, uh, I just thought I should dedicate uh, my gratitude, filled feelings, devotion to the Divine Mother, Great Goddess Patadarsyama. And uh, we're just going to start her Thiruvila, uh, the great festival, celebrating her uh, in the end of February. 
so this year 2023 so just before that i thought i should tell you all uh, about her greatness about her simplicity about her compassion and uh, most importantly the valuable guidance that she gives i really hope you all get an opportunity to seek her divine guidance thank you so much i wish you all the best be blessed